Yo, what's up guys? Here today, I'd like to talk about something very interesting and very important that um, probably many of you would like to know. Okay, so the topic today is how to reduce a specific part of your body fat. For example, uh, female, uh, many of you want to lose the uh, fats on your arms, your lower back, or even your belly. Same goes to guys, belly is the main issue. First and foremost, I need to make things clear. There is no specific exercise, nutrition program, or the food that you eat that can help you lose that particular area. Well, uh, how it works is basically fat loss doesn't work in one area. For example, let's say you want to lose your belly, your tummy, you do thousands of crunches, leg raises, and yeah, all kinds of exercise to target the um, area. It won't work. Um, it's because this is what we call spot reduction. It's already proven a myth by many studies, many research have done around the world. Sorry to say that um, there is no spot reduction technique. I will show you. If I do, I am probably going to tell lies. Right? So the answer is no. There is no specific exercise or specific food you eat. You can specifically lose the arms fats, the belly fats, the lower back, your glutes, your hips. Yeah. Well, how it works is fat loss works overall, right? It doesn't work just uh, losing a specific area of fats. When you're on a training program, you basically burn extra calories. And um, if you take care of your nutrition, you eat deficit, your calories intake. This is how you lose fat over time, all right? It's not overnight, it's over the weeks, months, and so on. So uh, definitely the part that you should very stubborn to lose is your tummy, all right? For guys, it's because our hormone, right? Testosterone or estrogen imbalance, or even our chest. So this is why these are the few places where your body tends to store fats first. Where your face, your arms, is the part where we call it's not the stubborn fats and also due to water retention, you can easily lose the layer of fats around your neck, your face, your arm, shoulder first, right? So the belly area normally comes in last. So this requires a lot of time, a lot of patience, and the problem is many people don't see the results in the first few weeks or few first few months, and this is why they get very demotivating, they thought what they're doing doesn't work, so they stop. But here's the truth, um, even though you do simple exercise, you watch your nutrition, you will still get results for sure. It's a slow result. Uh, definitely you're gonna see visible shoulders if you diet well and train very hard, visible chest, and uh, last of all, your belly, your tummy area will go down cm by cm, right? Not inch by inches. It's gonna take very, very slow. And um, most of us also did not notice this uh, because we look ourselves every day in the mirror. So we can't tell the difference of uh, whether or not we lose weight or we gain muscles. So what I recommend is uh, instead of looking in the mirror or weighting yourself in a weighting scale, weighting scale doesn't work as well. It's because the weighting scale doesn't tell you how much muscle that you build, how much fats do you lose. It just tells you the general weight. It could be water retention, muscle gain, or fat loss. Therefore, your weight is always stagnant. So, if you can always listen to the number of weights, definitely gonna get motivated. You think that you did not do any progress. Okay, here's what I, what I like to do is I always like to uh, pay attention on my clothes, my pants, right? Mainly those uh, not stretchable one. Uh, see whether if they are getting looser or getting tighter. If you're getting looser, definitely you're on the right path, especially your waist area. If your shirt, you're getting tight on your arms area, definitely you're gaining some size, I would say muscle mass, good news. So uh, these are the few things you should pay attention, all right, instead of just looking at the weight winning skills. Right, so here are a few tips I'd like to give you on how to burn fats effectively. First of all, you need to train. Training can be cardiovascular, weight training, or anything you like to do like dance class, Zumba, body combat, but mainly I prefer to do weight training because weight training improves our metabolism. It helps us to build muscles, lean muscles, and lean muscles help us to uh, burn calories either without even exercising or resting, right? So uh, females, uh, don't be afraid. There's definitely a fear for you, most of you, because uh, you might heard that if you lift weights, you end up very bulky. This is not true because of testosterone production. Guys have higher testosterone production, so guys can build muscles much easier than girls. So don't worry, just lift weights, right? Uh, it's a very good uh, way to strengthen your functionality as well. So therefore, you won't get injured as your age goes up. Secondly is cardio training. The word of cardio is basically our heart. So uh, cardio training means uh, anything where you do non-stop, right? Uh, it takes around like 15 to 20 minutes to make 
the cardio session effective. Even though if you have no time, you have only five minutes to 10 minutes to do cardio, it's fine. Just bring up the intensity level. This is how you burn massive calories, right? So the frequency of weight training and uh, cardio training, I would say at least you need to schedule weight training three to five times a week and cardio three to five times a week. Right, um, so total is about 10 sessions a week. So I like to break it down into two, right? Uh, if you separate, definitely you're gonna take a lot of your time. I like to do weights training first. When I finish my weights training, I'll probably go to a treadmill, or if I don't have the mood to run, to walk, I'll just go on the elliptical machine. You do another 20 minutes of cardio. So uh, in one session, I have one hour of weight training and 20 minutes or 30 minutes or more of cardio training. So end up is like one and a half hour. So this is the training part and training is very important but how important I would say is only like 20% out of the 100%. Another 80% is what you put into your body, all right? Calories. So I wouldn't want to teach you how to count your calories now because it's going to take very very long time for me to explain and all of stuff. I would say keep it simple, right? Try to eat the food where you can stay consistent, right? I'm not a big fan of staying super clean, all right? Avoid this, avoid that, cut this, cut that. It works, all right? Definitely works because you are consuming so little calorie. But here's the problem. If you cut things too much, it's very hard for you to sustain. Fitness is about long term. It's like running marathon. It's not sprint. So what if you go on a hardcore diet after one month or two months and get very tired of, of this lifestyle and you stop, eventually you still won't, won't achieve your goal. Okay, I would like to make a 50-50 diet which is 50% clean and 50% is not so clean. The definition of clean is basically not uh, bleaching your chicken breast or wash your chicken breast. Um, definition of clean is um, basically just eat whole foods, right? Avoid oily, sugary stuff because they are high in calories and sugar makes you crave for more. So I would like to spend like uh, my first two meals or three meals eating pretty clean, I mean eat uh, pretty healthy, like um, chicken, uh, spaghetti, plain oatmeal, and another two meals after that, um, I will eat slightly a little bit um, not so healthy, but it's more to the taste to keep me satisfied. So this is how I get the motivation uh, without feeling too stressed to make my diet long term. All right, so first three meal can be very clean. It can be protein shake, oatmeal, chicken breast, brown rice, pastas, plain. And last two meal probably I go for a little bit of uh, stir fried or fried chicken is fine as long as you don't uh, overdo it, like one piece or two piece, right? Uh, it, it depends on individual, right? If let's say you think you are the one who easily gain weight, then I suggest you to uh, cut down the portion. But for me, one piece to two piece of fried chicken is fine. And in return, you need to bring up your fibers level. Fibers as in vegetables, uh, get something which is, can bring up the fibers intake, like psyllium husk. Because fibers help your body to burn more calories, right? Because when you digest, your body burns calories as well. So keep the fibers high, keep the diet consistent, right? You can go for three to four meals or three to five meals, up to you. I personally eat only three meals a day, but three, uh, I would say not to say too big. Uh, just moderate for me to keep me going right so this is how it works for me I don't know about you it's all about try and error and the word consistent remember so if you combine training and nutrition together I can guarantee you can see results for sure but what result is that will you get lean six packs like me I can't give you any promise it's all about when you hit a plateau it's time to adjust adjust your training and adjust your nutrition for me I really know my body very well I've been training for many many years and I watch my food intake for like Monday to Friday or even like entire week, right? I hope I answer your questions. There is no magic exercise that can help you to specifically reduce the double chin. The stomach is all about overall fat loss. So train hard, I'll see you again soon.